Ah, I say the job you lost, it was God fighting for you. Because God saw something that you could not see. But because there is a connection between you and God. He said you don't need this job. You don't need this door. Not every door is for you. So God had to close it. Just to preserve your life. Praise the name of God. Someone say God. Kill something now. The thing that has stagnated you. May God take it out of your life. You are trying to do everything. Bending from left to right. Just to make them comfortable. To make them successful. Providing a nice shelter. A nice thing. An excellent provider you are. But they don't say thank you. The Bible does not say that Tamar was wicked. The Bible says, uh, and God killed her. Praise the name of the living God. Anything in your life that doesn't put value on you, may God terminate it today. You are not in the service. Come on, ECC. Is there anything in your life that you have been thinking you can't do without it? It is God who is taking it out of your life. It's a God's way of preservation. Can I preach this thing the way I feel it? So today, I'm not going to tell you what you will be. What if I told you you carry the grace of a millionaire but the relationship you are in was not going to sponsor you into what you carry. So God has to kill hell. Can I preach this thing now? Because Tamar has a relationship with God. So if I got a relationship with God, God takes my battles. So he gonna handle air. I decree and declare by the sounding of my voice. May God begin to handle every air in your life. Air means a mistake. Air means wickedness. Air means the wrong decisions. Somebody seated in here. You just made a wrong decision. And you have been judged for it. Criticized for it. Hated for it. But God is getting ready to handle air for the Bible say and God killed air can I pick this thing the way I feel it he is not only a merciful God he is also a consuming fire when it comes to your enemies praise the name of God tell your neighbor every mistake I made in my life God handle it now they are just for the physical fulfillment but not for the life assignment I feel something is about to happen in this place so tell your neighbor he keeps on doing that and God is watching he is still the same God of the Tamar so it is not his first time to do so intimacy but no seed I'm here for pleasure but as far as my seed is concerned you got to forget it so honor never did anything evil he never cheated but because he couldn't make an investment Investment on behalf of his brother, God is going to kill him. I came in eternity city church today to holler unto somebody. God is getting ready to kill every honor in your life. For you keep on spilling your seed on the ground 
and God has been watching. You never bother about your friend's business, your friend's vision, your friend's ministry. Won't just support, but you are asking many questions. I feel like preaching and we close. Did I say you give your neighbor high five? Do it now for the first time and hold on to your neighbor, neighbor. How could you be this wicked? It's all right when I'm giving you my encouragement. It's all right when I'm giving you my support. When you are crying, I was there for you. When you are in the trouble, I was there for you. When people wanted to kill you, I stood in between. Can I preach in this place? Give your neighbor a high five for the second and third time. And tell your neighbor, neighbor, how could you be this wicked? Oh, Onan, praise the name of God. Hello. The praise was powerful. Instead of going to Pastor Mother and tell her, You have blessed me, you never do that. What you have is many questions and many criticism. Can I preach the way I feel it? Praise the name of God. The praise is powerful, the service is powerful, the preacher man is powerful. But when it comes to the time to give, you withhold your seed. You are as wicked as all and is. You cannot be shouting over the anointing of the man of God. And when it comes the time for you to release your seed, you spill the semen on the ground. The devil is a liar. How could you be this wicked? Oh, Could you be this wicked? How could you be this wicked? How could you be this wicked? On and on and how could you be this wicked? How could you be this wicked? The same ministry that prays for you, the same ministry that builds you spiritually, the same ministry that is always there for you. When the need is in the ministry, you withhold your seed. You are just as wicked as Onan. And the last time I checked, the Bible says, God.